Let's check out the modulation tab inside sampler. So here I have just a loop. I'm gonna drag it inside sampler. And let's go to the modulation tab. Here we have one auxiliary envelope and three LFOs that can be routed to many different places. Let's start with the auxiliary envelope. Let's turn it on. Here we have the same controls as we can find on all the other envelopes, like attack, decay, sustain, release. We can also change the initial value of the attack and the peak value of the attack stage. We can also change the value of the release stage if we have a longer release on our volume envelope. Right here. We can also loop the envelope if we want any type of looping modulation that makes it more similar uh, to an LFO. Right here we can select two destinations of what the envelope is actually modulating and besides the regular options like the LFOs, uh, global volume, panning and time, filtering and of course also the pitch, we can also change some very interesting things about the loop start and the sample selector which we'll talk about when we talk uh, in a different video on multi samples. So let's for example set it to the loop start. I'm going to go back to the sample, I'm going to turn on looping forward, let's make it very short and let's also bring back, bring forward the starting of the loop so we can add some cross fading. Now let's go back to the auxiliary envelope and route it to the loop start. Here is the amount, let's bring it up. And right now it's just a acting as if it's not even looping, just playing the sample all the way through. But let's take the attack to be slower. Let's see what that is doing. So now it's actually changing the uh, starting point of the loop and it's moving that looping forward in time to create something similar to granular looping. Let's make the loop even shorter. Now, if we don't have the cross fade, it will create all those clicks, so that's why we added some cross fade. Very cool stuff. So, you can do a lot of interesting things with the auxiliary envelope. Here we got LFO 1, which is a regular LFO. Uh, you just have four uh, preset uh, destinations that you can route it to modulate with. So, for example, volume. Let's bring out the volume. Here is the speed, the type of waveform. If the speed is synchronized or not. You can offset the beginning of the starting point of the LFO. And you can also slowly introduce it, kind of fade it in with the attack. Here we also have the key is how much of the rate of the speed is influenced from the pitch. So if I go higher or lower, it's going to be a different speed, a different frequency of the LFO. Nice. And we also have the retrig. Let's bring up the filter. Let's actually bring up the pitch so it's most obvious. Take down the volume. So when retrig is on, the LFO is always going to start from the same point. And when the retrig is off, the LFO is free running in the background. And whenever we grab it, that's going to be the place that uh, it's starting to modulate. So that is retrig. LFO 2 and LFO 3 are identical. Here we just have a few <coughs> extra controls. And they're not uh, hard routed to only the volume filter pan and pitch. You can route them to anything you want, similar to the auxiliary envelope. And they can even modulate themselves. So it can be self-modulating or modulate other LFOs for uh, cross modulation. Uh, here we can also change it to a stereo and spin a, a dual LFO to create all sorts of interesting things. Let's put it on the panning, bring it up. And now if we spin it, it's going to detune the two LFOs relatively to each other to create uh, interesting stereo effects. You can also change the phase of the two LFOs, so now it acts differently between the left and the right. All the other controls are the same, and we have the same thing in LFO 3. 
So the modulation tab is extremely flexible uh, modulation sources that allow us to change different things uh, in sampler when it regarding global or even individually to one uh, sample only, uh, as we'll check in later videos when we do the multi samples and talking about the zone tab.